Hello again. We are here for our seventh Children's Lenten devotional video. As we continue to learn the prayer that Jesus taught us, he says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Sometimes when this prayer is said, we use the word debts instead of trespasses. What do these words mean? Well, a debt or a trespass is something that is used to hurt someone else. When we offend someone, we are trespassing against that person. We must ask God for forgiveness. We are glad that God has already forgiven everything we have done and everything we will do. We also ask for help in forgiving other people. Just last week in the prayer, we asked God to provide us with physical and spiritual bread. Now we ask God to forgive us when we are hurtful to others. Sometimes it's a lot easier to ask God in prayer for what we want given, but it might be harder to ask God for forgiveness in something that we've done. It's hard to recognize our mistakes and ask for forgiveness. It's even harder to forgive those who have hurt us. Can you forgive someone who has hurt you? Do you think it'll be easy or hard to forgive others? Today is Palm Sunday. We are entering Holy Week as we continue to learn how to pray. What a perfect day, Palm Sunday, to learn more about God's forgiveness for each of us and our forgiveness towards others. Let's read the scripture for today. It comes from the book of Luke, so we know that that's in the New Testament, right? And it's chapter 19, verses 28 through 40, and it's called the triumphal entry. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and, is, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Just a quick aside, a colt is another word for a young donkey. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Tell him, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? And they replied, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. They said, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. So in today's Palm Sunday passage, Jesus says that the stones will cry out if the disciples remain quiet. The disciples cannot help it, just as truly forgiven people cannot help but forgive one another. Let's add a prayer bead as we continue our prayer. So today I have added a red round bead at the very top. And this represents that Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice to forgive our sins. And when we add it, we will say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So let us pray. God of forgiveness, forgive me. Forgive me when I make mistakes. Teach me to forgive others who have hurt or wounded me. Continue to let me give all honor and glory to you and show others in my life how this world can look different when we put you in first place. Amen. Thanks guys for watching. We have a couple more videos. See you then. Bye.